What's the trashiest wedding you've been to? My friend group and I talk about this wedding to this day, and probably will for the rest of our lives. The bride and groom decided to do things on a very, very small budget, that's fine. Frugal weddings and budget weddings can be beautiful and nice. There is a difference between a frugal wedding and a cheap wedding, however, and this was cheap, for instance. The wedding was in July. They decided to hold it in a non-air conditioned park shelter. The decorations were actual trash. The bride decided me and the other bridesmaids needed tiny top hats, which she made from discarded styrofoam cups mine had ants in it. She asked me to be the maid of honor. I was flattered but confused. She'd had three mo's before me, and they all quit for various reasons, mostly baby daddy drama related. She wanted live music but wouldn't pay a pianist. My friend Steven's sister said she'd play the wedding march on a keyboard for 50 bucks. Said sister couldn't actually play the piano, but she did the pre-recorded wedding march song. Nobody could tell the difference because the woman in charge of baking the cake got shit face the day before, and was baking the cake in the non-air-conditioned park shelter's little kitchen while listening to the radio, very loudly. The bride and groom tried to write their own vows, got in a fight over it, and didn't tell the officiant until the day of that there were no vows. Fortunately, he was on it and had backup vows ready to go. The bride hadn't tried on her dress, which she'd bought from AliExpress, until the day of. It was way too small and we had to rip out the back and safety pin in some satiny white fabric, which would have been great, if the dress hadn't been off-white. The groom made comments and it turned out that the whole dress thing was based on his mom offering to pay for the dress, then rescinding because she had to bail out his brother. My friend, instead of going to an actual store and buying a dress, picked one off of AliExpress. This would have been less weird if I hadn't been dress shopping with her like, three times because her mom couldn't wouldn't pick out a mother of the bride dress. The groom's entire family including his best man and his two groomsmen left right after the meal, spaghetti, green beans, and McDonald's orange drink, was served. The DJ, my friend Steven and his Bose speakers, didn't know this and tried to announce the groom's dance with his mom, his mom had left. Apparently his family was furious that it was a dry venue. The only member of the family left was the ring bearer. Who it turns out was forgotten, we had to take him home because his family wouldn't come get him. The groom slept through the rehearsal and showed up to the wedding drunk. We had to put another friend on bouncer duty because two of the bride's aunts tried to walk away with the cash envelope. We gave him the envelope because he was the tallest and we figured he could outrun the aunts. The bride's brother was originally on envelope duty but we caught him taking a 50 out of the envelope, so we had to take it from him. We had to politely inform the best man he couldn't smoke in the porta john. We had porta johns instead of actual working bathrooms. The worst, though, was the photographer. As Mo, I was informed day of that I had to keep the photographer 100 feet away from the ring bearer and flower girls at all times. He was a registered sex offender, but also the bride's uncle, and he volunteered to do the pictures for free, so. He ended up using a telephoto lens, because he couldn't get close enough to the wedding party to take the pictures. They divorced a couple months later after the house they were staying in burned to the ground. I have no idea to this day why they even got married.